the Spirit, with the Holy Spirit being an active part of that which we call God, we benefit from knowing the work of the Spirit. We see that his role related to us is to reveal the Lord Jesus to us and to make known the word to us. The Holy Spirit is powerful and gives us thoughts and actions of the Lord God for our perfection and ministering. The Spirit of Christ is the essence of God's culture in action. In God's word, we are able to acknowledge the power of the Holy Spirit, having a part in our physical creation. The Spirit as revealed is present and contributes to every work of God in our lives. When it comes to specific factors needed for our growth in the Lord, the Holy Spirit remaining in us and with us testifies of the Lord Jesus. Genesis 1-2 And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Job 26, 13. By his spirit he hath garnished the heavens. His hand hath formed the crooked serpent. Job 33, 4. The spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Always has involvement in work of God. It is recorded for us in the Word of God. The Spirit is involved in all things concerning our living and making progress in our Lord's kingdom. Our receiving wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is accomplished by the work of the Holy Spirit. We are able to identify the Spirit is even involved in areas dealing with a person having skills to make a living. Exodus 31, 3. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship. It can be seen how the Holy Spirit worked in the same way from the beginning as he works today in giving spiritual gifts for our use in serving God. In our growth in achieving the Lord's God's righteousness, we are by the Holy Spirit provided with gifts and fruit of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is something we could not do without in becoming servants of God. For our belonging to Christ Jesus and being able to do our God's will, we must be indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The Lord planned and allows us to receive his likeness and his glorious image by the power of his Holy Spirit. Numbers eleven twenty five, And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him and took of the Spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the, the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the Spirit rested on them, they prophesied and did not cease. Galatians 4, 6 And because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the Spirit of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, just as comfort and truth is an identity, we are able to label our Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus with. It fits the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit, being always connected with the Word of God, encourages us with the Word of God. The Word of God is perfected by the Holy Spirit associating the Word with the Lord Jesus and his works. Proverbs 1, 23. Turn ye at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. 
I will make known my words unto you. Meets our spiritual needs. Just as there is diversity of spiritual needs, there is diversity of spiritual gifts to meet the spiritual needs. It is a good focus to realize the purpose of our being given the manifestation of the Holy Spirit by his gifts. The spiritual gifts of the Holy Spirit are for us to personally profit from them in serving. We, by the working of the spiritual gifts and fruit, are able to profit in our ministering for our Lord God. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 7 through 13. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the selfsame Spirit dividing to every man severally as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Luke 3.16 John answered, saying unto them, All, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Isaiah 4.4 4. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Ephesians 3, 4 through 6. There is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Gifts, fruit, and positions. Not only do we receive gifts by the Holy Spirit, we also receive individual assigned positions and activities by the Lord God's Spirit. By having the Holy Spirit, we are equipped in ministering to the world and to build up each other in Christ. It is of great necessity for us to have the fruit and gifts of the Holy Spirit in ministering to those outside of the Lord Jesus and to one another in Christ. The plan for us to have full growth in the image and likeness of the Lord Jesus is accomplished by the use of the fruit and the gifts of the Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, we also have guidance and encouragement for performing in every position the Lord God assigns us and in every place where the Lord God places us to serve him. The Holy Spirit is seen as the promoter of the essence of God's culture, which is being completed in us. Ephesians 3, 11 through 13. 
and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. 1 Corinthians 3, 9 For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry. Ye are God's building. 1 Corinthians 7, 24 Brethren, let every man wherein he is called, therein abide with Christ. 